Good afternoon. Um, this is basically a, a six month update posting and um, I think that as you can read from the posting I'm definitively claiming that I am cured of MS. Now that requires a little bit of explanation which is why I'm doing this video. Um, first of all before I explain that one thing that's kind of nice is that I can stop taking uh, medication now at six months. I was taking uh, Acyclovir and Bactrim to try to um, reduce the uh, possibility that there could be some infection or a reactivation of a dormant virus inside of uh, my body. So um, I'm now past, officially, I'm past the most dangerous time of the, um, of the treatment. Now, um, of course, in I am, as you noticed in the writing of this blog, I am declaring that I'm cured. However, that requires a little bit of explanation. The first, well I should say there's two different ways to define a cure. One is to define it as a stopping or a halting of the progression of the disease. My disease has been stopped. And in my definition, for me personally, that um, is what constitutes a cure. However, some people may not accept that as a definition of a cure. Some people may want to have reversal of deficit. And I believe that it's very likely that there will be some disability or deficit reversal in all forms of the disease. However, I need to explain this in a little more detail. Um, I basically hand drew this uh, kind of crude little drawing here, this illustration, so bear with me here. Um, there's basically four types of multiple sclerosis, so there's four embodiment of the etiology or the morphology of multiple sclerosis. Now, this line that I've driven here, this little graph, represents the most common form of MS, and which is the kind that I have. It starts out as a relapsing, remitting, that is that usually uh, MS is usually diagnosed with a specific type of a um, episode. In my case, it was optic neuritis, and it turns out that for a great number of people, optic neuritis is the presenting symptom. Um, and then, over time, there's a slow accumulation of deficit, but there's an episode in which there's an exacerbation, and then there's recovery. During this phase of the disease, it's a demyelinating um, uh, th occurrence, the nerves are actually having a demyelination of the tissue um, surrounding the nerves. And what happens is that once a demyelination occurs, the body can then form a scar over the nerve to replace the myelin that, which has been basically stripped off of the nerve tissue. Usually this results, results in an um, improvement, but perhaps not a 100% improvement, which is why you still have this slow accumulation of deficit. Um, for many people, including myself, all of a sudden, for some unknown reason, for their underlying cause is still not quite understood, um, it changes from an um, episodic disease into a progressive disease. And that is that about four or five years ago, I stopped having exacerbations or episodes or flare-ups, whatever you want to call them, and my disease just slowly started to get worse. And uh, I'm like probably somewhere around here. I'm in an EDSS of 3.5. Um, and then based on all the research which has been done to date, then usually somewhere between EDSS of 4.5 and 6, for some yet unknown reason, um, the disability of the disease will then accelerate and it gets quite worse. Um, now, these two phases, this is the relapsing phase, and then this is the progressive phase. Now, I mentioned there's four types of MS. This is one type, which is probably the most common. Uh, some people have a primary progressive disease. It just gets bad from the outset. Some people have an uh, episodic or a relapsing condition, which will last their whole life. And um, primary progressive, typically, people are going to get a much more serious disease and their disability is going to be uh, substantially more. In the episodic portion, people who have a relapsing form their whole life, typically it's going to be a little, um, it's going to be not quite as severe. Um, then there's also another phase or another type of MS which I've not listed here, it's called uh, relapsing progressive. That is that it 
substantially gets worse, but also there's flare-ups or exacerbations which occur. So all in all, this is the most common form. It's about, this represents about a third of everybody who has MS. So I actually got a very common morphology or evolution of the disease. Um, the primary progressive, which can be quite severe, represents a very small percentage, maybe about 15%. Um, now, when a stem cell transplant um, is performed on the body, in all phases and in all cases, it will stop the disease. That is, it will not progress anymore. The question is, how much reversal of deficit can there be? Now, um, there's something fundamentally different going on in the destruction of the nerve tissue in the body between these two types of progression of the disease. So basically, during the um, relapsing remitting form of the disease, once the uh, disease has been stopped, it's possible for the body to quickly repair itself by remyelinating or causing scar tissue to grow over the nerves that were, um, that were killed. However, during the, the progressive phase of the disease, there's something underlying the damage mechanism which is totally different than the episodic phase of the disease. And it's causing axonal dystrophy, or it's causing the nerves to actually die. Once the nerves are dead, they're not going to come back to life. So the way the body repairs itself in these two different phases differs. The body repairs itself here by creating scar tissue over the damaged uh, myelin over the, the nervous tissue. Here, once the nerves are dead, the only thing the brain can do is it can rewire around the dead nerves. And uh, this rewiring process occurs very slowly. It does occur, but it occurs very slowly. So for people who are cured during this phase of the disease, during a relapsing phase, it's possible to have a very remarkable improvement. And I've heard anecdotal stories of people that were not able to walk before the stem cell transplant, but then afterwards, um, a short time after, they were able to uh, walk again. Uh, again, it's anecdotal, but probably during the uh, relapsing phase of the disease, a stem cell transplant portends a much more rapid and more complete recovery and reversal of deficit, which is what we're talking about here. During the progressive phase of the disease, and this also um, this applies to primary progressive as well as secondary progressive like this, uh, and like my case, um, my disease has been stopped. I consider that a cure, and I've actually had a small amount of reversal of deficit. Um, I won't go through it. You can read the blog. I put it down into words. And uh, the important thing is that there can still be reversal. It's just going to be a very slow process, and it probably will take years. So I expect to show improvement for my own status, my disability status, out to several years. So, um, so basically, as I have mentioned in uh, the blog here, um, the cure worked for me. There's no question about it. It absolutely works. Well, it works for me. Um, and it probably works for most people. Well, actually, I shouldn't say probably. I should say based on the clinical research that's been done to date, it's definitely over 80% cure rate, uh, perhaps around 85%. Um, so I think I'll uh, leave it at that without trying to bore you too much. And um, I will continue to give updates. I'll give an update at, um, at 12 months and 18 months, probably every six months thereafter. And... Um, explain uh, in more detail as to the reversal of any existing disability that I have. But uh, bottom line, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a cure that has worked for me. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody.